everybody, Mr. Dirt. Um, people keep asking about making some of these cured pork things, so we're going to make a ham uh, for, I guess, about eight days from now on uh, Sunday. So, um, okay, I'm going to hand this to Paige, and here we go. Let's see if we got the right size stuff. Okay, so we we'll start with one wonderful pork roast. Uh, wrapping of your choice. If you have store bought meat, I definitely recommend doing it as quickly as possible. This was fresh out of the freezer. Paige, how long ago did you pull this up? Five um, minutes? Two minutes ago? Two minutes. Two minutes ago. Probably too big to fit in my bag too. So I was hoping you, you want to try and keep it in as small a piece of it as possible if you're doing it fresh. There we go. Gallon size storage bag for this particular roast. Let me rinse my hands off. So I'm touching other. It's storming. Yeah, we get it. too storm. That's why we're. And, but Paige, I thought about talking to you before I go. It might be a little fun. I was showing Kaya. So the more preserved you want to have it, the more salt you're going to need. Wow. This one's a lot going to salt. probably sit in the fridge. Uh, that wow. might make it too salty. For eight days. And not that we have any, wouldn't have any spoilage anyway. Let's throw some honey in there. Yep. We have a big button. And then probably something like pepper. Luck. Peppa. Mm -hmm. We have no more in the can, Dad. Okay. So, that if you'd like it, to keep it. That might make it very honeyish, huh? Mm -hmm. I like honeyish. Like Dad, we have no more, no more black pepper. Okay. Let me show you a little white pepper. A little. Way too much. A lot on the honey. And I think we have some red peppers. What's oh. pink stuff? This is stuff you never eat, remember? Pink salt? Can I show anybody? Yeah. This is what's left of our pink salt. Thank you. So if anybody was really nervous, it is still there for the eating, for the using. We could probably ship it to you because we never use it anymore because we find it worthless. We'll throw a little liquid smoke on as well. Because we're not smoking it and doing the high class end. Mm -hmm. We may as well. Okay. What else? I think that's it. So, what we're gonna do is collapse, squeeze all the air out of what we can. Oof, that's the liquid smoke. It smells like the taste Smoky. of, of smoke. barbecue. Smoke. Yeah, exactly. That's smoke. Yeah, we're gonna rub the mixture. Even the honey. <laughs> yeah, even the honey, which is clumped up with the salt. Mm -hmm. Rub that all around. It's just like making a bacon. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the majority of the honey has clumped up at what you want to be the top. So it will, so we're gonna have to send that in. So we'll set it in the fridge as the juice comes out of the roast then it will turn into a brine and we will just turn this over every so often like Please that before. Please stop and side making side. the clump. Uh -huh. Did I hear? Yeah. It's just cold clump. right now. Cold and honeyish. So nice. I'll set that on a plate. And then next Saturday it would be ready. Next Sunday definitely be ready. So I'll probably just throw the whole glob in with some beans. Yep. We have be cooked pot, beans. Call it good. So, okay, hit the button. Okay, so one more thing to do. Every day or two, it's gonna just flip it every so often. So that things situate in the brine. This one's been starting to cure up nicely and it's only been a day. So yeah, roughly. Every day, turn it around. Life's good.